So what I'm going to show you how to do today is route your system sounds from an Apollo Quad or Apollo Duo to, um, to be whatever output that you want um, in your audio MIDI setup. So what you do is, let's say, at first we don't, we play this uh, video. I'm on YouTube, uh, Booney Mayfield video. I just pulled up and I push play and I hear nothing. Now if I go into my um, console, I see nothing as well. There's nothing going on. So this is usually the way it is. Any kind of system sounds or anything that you have, you're, you're going to uh, not hear anything. So kind of sucks, but if you you can put it, your output to your speakers on uh, on the monitor outs, but the problem with that is is if you have a microphone like what I'm talking into right now, um, you're gonna get feedback. So the best way to do this is to go through a separate out. You can go through one through eight, and uh, have those routed to your speakers. So what you do is you go into the audio MIDI setup and. You go to the audio portion of it and do that by going. It's already it says hide audio, but it should say show audio window when this window is not, not already open. So you go to configure speakers. If that if this portion over here isn't showing, then just right click and say configure speakers. And right now, as you can see, it's on monitor left and monitor right. So what I want to do is switch this. I have the speakers hooked up to line one and line two. I hit apply, done. I go back and it's going to play. So now everything is going to be playing through YouTube or through your CD player or through iTunes, whatever you have. Now the caveat to this is that if you're using Chrome, which I normally use, then you will not be able to use Chrome with this feature. I don't know why, but it just does not work. Um, the other thing is, in the console, if you have any of these auxiliaries hooked to, or selected to analog one and two, the same output that you have, when you try to press play, you get nothing. So then you go back. <laughs> I thought I actually had a broken a broken <laughs> uh, Apollo at one point, but I didn't. So anyways, I click it back and it's playing. And that's how you do it. Now you can go into uh, Logic, for instance, and you can have this playing at the same time. Let me open up another. I'm assuming that you can do this with just about anything. Um, let's see here. Close that. It's got something to play in here. Yep, and it's playing. So I have that playing at the same time. So it doesn't it doesn't interfere with your other recordings going on or playback going on. So anyways, that's how you do it. It took me about a month and a half to figure this out. And uh, I hope you guys enjoy the video and learn something.